Deal or no deal on DACA tonight? It depends on who you talk to. President Trump and congressional leaders all have their own take on a possible breakthrough that could lead to a law protecting 800,000 dreamers. Uh, one thing's for sure, people in Southern California are concerned. KCAL9's Tom Waite live tonight in downtown L.A. Tom. And Susie, as you said, they are so concerned and there is so much uncertainty about all of this. Immigrants advocates are getting together to help answer questions for those who support DACA. I don't know what's going on in Washington, D.C., but what I do know is that our students here and now are, are in fear. Immigration advocate Ron Gochez says even though there's talk of a deal on DACA, the program is still very much in limbo. Democrats left a dinner with President Trump last night saying they thought they had a framework for a deal, but it now appears that funding for a border wall could be a sticking point. The reality is, is that we cannot allow for our community to be used as a bargaining chip for you know, the Democrats and Republicans to rest over political points or, or votes. The back and forth over whether there is a possible deal on DACA started with Democratic House leader Nancy Pelosi. We had an agreement to move forward. But these comments from Democratic Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer over the border wall may tank any deal on DACA. We're not for the wall. We'll never be for the wall. If the Democrats aren't going to approve it, then we're not going to do what they want. A possible deal with Democrats upset some in the GOP. Closer relations between Democrats and Mr. Trump were summed up in this hot mic moment where Schumer was heard saying this about the president. He likes us. He likes me anyway. Republican leaders made clear any deal must go through them. There is no agreement. It was a discussion, not an agreement or negotiation. All of that partisan clamor leaves those who need DACA in place once again without real answers. Until we get an official word that comes from either the White House or Congress that actually passes something, then we, we really can't comment about these deals that they're brokering. The New York Times tonight is reporting that President Trump does support these negotiations and that there is some sort of deal in place between President Trump and the Democrats. But again, Republicans are not on board yet and nothing is set in stone. Reporting live in L.A., I'm Tom White. Back to you in the studio. Thank you.